Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Dr. Vijay Agarwal, and I'm a medical oncologist at Astra CMA Hospital in Bengaluru. We are here to talk about coronavirus and what a patient with cancer needs to know. The coronavirus is a group of viruses. The first outbreak of a coronavirus was a SARS outbreak in 2002 in China. What happened in December 2019 was a second coronavirus outbreak called the COVID-19 that happened in China and has now become an epidemic or in fact a pandemic across the world, including India, where we have now over 100 patients suffering from it. Uh, basically, coronavirus presents, uh, presents as someone with, who has fever, cough, body ache, and tiredness. They can also have shortness of breath if the coronavirus becomes severe, which is more commonly seen in the elderly population or people with other comorbidities such as diabetes, hypertension, and cancer. Basically, you get coronavirus through droplet infection. So it is not aerosolized, so you can't get it from the air. But anyone who coughs on you, you can get it through the droplet infection if those droplets touch any of your mucous membranes, such as your mouth, nose, or eyes. Or coronavirus can survive for a significant amount of time on surfaces, and if someone touches a surface, which has previously been exposed to coronavirus, using those hands, and if, you, if they are now put into the mouth, eyes, or nose, they can be transmitted that way. And so it is very, very important that we understand the modes of transmission to eliminate the process of transmission from people to people. So essentially, if someone is suffering from cancer, there are two ways to look at it. One is, if they have cancer, but they're currently not on treatment, they previously had treatment, and either on follow-up or having beaten cancer, they don't need to do anything different from what has been standard recommendation by the Department of Health or the district hospitals. Uh, essentially, the same precautions of what a non-cancer patient takes has to be taken by them, such as isolation, hand hygiene, and com not coming in contact with people with history of travel to uh, places that have been exposed to coronavirus. However, those patients who are currently on anti-cancer treatment, such as chemotherapy, targeted therapy, or immunotherapy, have to be extra careful uh, with the exposure to coronavirus. Now, they have to take extra precautions because these patients are immunocompromised and the severity of the coronavirus may be higher than the normal population. And, and in, in view of that, the death rate can also be higher in those patients who have cancer and are exposed to coronavirus as opposed to those patients who don't have cancer. We know from our experiences in China and the data coming out from there that those patients who have cancer and then develop coronavirus, the severity is higher as well as the likelihood of death from the virus is about 7% as opposed to 1-2% to in those people who don't have cancer. So in view of this, I think patients who have cancer and are on treatment should be really careful and avoid all contact with anyone who may have a cough, cold, or fever or have history of travel to countries that have been exposed to coronavirus. If some they suspect that they may have had the infection, it is very important that they get tested immediately and contact the oncologist for urgent care. Patients who have cancer has to have to take extra precautions in terms of washing their hands very regularly, avoid touching their face, and try to be in isolation as much as possible and avoid contact with uh, general public in the terms of visiting malls, uh, restaurants, uh, movie theaters, and it is better that if they are working, that they try to work from home as far as possible. The best way to prevent catching coronavirus is good hand hygiene and uh, ensuring that they don't touch their face, and I can't repeat this enough, that washing and sterilizing their hands is very, very important and probably the only way to prevent coronavirus from spreading from other people to yourself. If you do suspect that you have the coronavirus or you've been exposed to coronavirus, please ensure that you are tested immediately and you contact your oncologist as soon as possible. Thank you.